Welcome back to High Tech Custom Concepts, the KSG Shop. How's everybody doing? I wanted to do another brief video update today on the stuff that we're working on this week. Um, one of the refill orders that we do periodically, you know, we go through, all, we manufacture all our own products. As you can see from this machine back here, this is our uh, automatic band saw where we cut all the aluminum that comes in from our material suppliers that uh, we, we're contributing to this economy and growing our economy. So we're right now working on the aluminum extended lower rails. Um, I think I've, I've done kind of videos, kind of batching everything together, but today I'm gonna do a little breakout video on our extended lower rail and what it exactly does and how we make it and, uh, and what's involved with it. So let me turn the camera around. This way you could see a little bit of the KSG. I'm gonna give you the tour on the shop and what machines we're working on. Uh, putting it in and, and how it's manufactured for the ultimate precision and quality made by us right here in high tech on the equipment behind us. So let me flip the camera around and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Here we are. This is our KSG, our regular uh, pump shotgun, legal in all 52 states. Right now we are working on this piece of item right here. This is the extended lower rail, this part over here. It only sticks out about an inch, so it is actually below the end. It is sh it's short, about, you know, not longer than the end of the gun, so the muzzle blast or anything like that would not interfere with anything that you attach to the bottom. Normally, we have two types of rails. We have an extended rail, which gives you a little extra length for people who want to install a laser in the front uh, or a striker charging handle along with the laser. If you just want the striker charging handle, you can actually you don't need the extended rail but the extended rail uh, is good for people who want more room for more uh, placement of uh, either a regular vertical grip the regular vertical grip we highly recommend our regular length billet rail which is just it just ends at the very end of this um, <clears throat> I will show you some of the parts that we use that go into this exact rail that makes our product High, more highly engineered. Okay, so we're gonna go into the bucket here, take out some of our assembly components. I'm doing this on my own today, so guys, bear with me. Okay, so we have over here set screws. We give everybody set screws to install with this. Here is aluminum locker spacer bars. Now, how we work this is that there's eight set screw holes in this this one was a was a bad piece but normally we don't have two four six eight so what you do is you'll slide it on and inside of there we install eight of these locker spacer bars into the picatinny groove so it would slide like on the lower part it would slide right in between the picatinny groove go right in between and then the set screw would would sit right into the bottom of this and push it upwards and lock it into place so you would have four of these bars and eight set screws which is extreme uh, safety precaution and then when you lock in all those eight set screws with those four safety bars this whole thing pushes up and locks it into place where if you only used a screw it would dig into the plastic and after a while it would start to shake back and forth and it would actually uh, ruin the plastic, uh, the Picatinny rail that's over there. So <clears throat> we don't recommend anything with, with just screws. That's why we went the extra mile and we included four lock locking aluminum spacer bars. Now all of this is made out of 6061 solid aluminum uh, bar. And let me go to the machine here and show you where we're making them right now how they're, they're exactly manufactured. They would come normally like stock bars, like rectangle solid pieces, like this would be a rectangle bar. And the first operation we do is we would put it in the machine and then it would machine the inside groove over here. See that groove, everything is machined to precision tolerances. We have gauges uh, and then we deburr this all with by hand either with the Brillo or scotch bright scrapers over here my guy's got a scraper we'll be we'll be uh, using this tool to remove all the sharp edges on it so it doesn't mar or dig into anything 
And then once the first side is all complete, then we put it in like now it's set up for the second side. So when the second side comes out of the machine, you're going to have, you know, little tools go back and forth, back and forth, cut everything, drill the holes. And then you have the Picatinny side. Again, this Picatinny rail is to exact precision tolerances, two thousandths of an inch, 0 0.002. Then what we do is we will deburr these by hand, take all the sharp burrs off the edge. Once that's all done, we, we thread the holes all by hand for exact precision. We double check them. And then we put this in a tumbler for final deburring. So everything is all smooth and not sharp. And let me see if I have a piece that's tumbled over here. Uh, offhand, I don't think I have it. Here is some extra pieces on this side over here we're working on. Not in front of me, but it would give it more of a flat look once it's tumbled. And that's it. And then once the second side is done, we'll thread them out, tap them, and they're all complete. They go off for a hard black anodize. The hard black anodize is a deeper penetrating finish, uh, premium, all done at local shops over here in the New York area, supporting companies and, and employees of America. So we'd appreciate uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, just give us a call. You know, all of our stuff, again, I'm showing you more and more videos of all the, the machinery and equipment that we use to manufacture all our products in America, right here in New York by us at High Tech Custom. We do not give out any jobs. We do not outsource to different countries just to undercut prices where only one person benefits and not the entire country. We support the economy, we support the gun community, and we support employees of America. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the manufacturing of our of our lower rails today we're making a whole another run of these couple hundred of them uh keeping up with customers uh, making sure we make the best parts possible and if you have any questions or comments you know just leave it in the comment below a big thumbs up would be appreciated to keep growing the community and letting them letting them be aware of uh you know companies like us that still make things in america and still support the economy um, you know, we don't want to outsource anything. We want to keep jobs in America and supporting uh, the United States. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.